If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Tom Roberts, the uh, CEO of the Greater Coosa Valley Chamber of Commerce, joins us this morning. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Glad to be here. Well, good to have you with us. And what's happening in the big city of Childersburg? Well, there's a lot going on. Uh, one of the things that uh, everybody always loves and enjoys is that two word phrase, grand opening. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a brand new business, but it's a brand new home. And Lakeside Stone will be celebrating on Wednesday, September the 5th from uh, 11 a.m. Uh, until 12 p.m. I've got discrepancy in my notes here. One says 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and one says 11 to 2. So you can come early. You they go. won't throw you out, right. I promise. But the ribbon cutting for the new facility, and it's absolutely gorgeous. What do they do there? Uh, they make these and okay. other uh, applications for stone, stone like counter stops, yeah. anything that has to do with stone cutting they can I saw they some can of their handle. work it is very beautiful oh too. absolutely absolutely it is and that maybe not granite but uh, uh, stone is part of our heritage mm -hmm. in these parts mm -hmm. so I'm glad to have them on board and uh, almost constant contact with Amanda Green over there and she's getting nervous and excited mm -hmm. she's uh, they're they're really 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 looking forward to doing a little showing out so that's important and right now uh, the folks down at the Recreation Department, Tava, is uh, leading the charge there for the organization of the first annual Pumpkin Festival, and that's coming up in October. But right now it's important because it's time for the community to come out and sign up for a booth. And if she's not full already, she's got to be close. So if you're interested, you best get, uh, get on the phone and talk with Tava. What's that going to be about? Well, it's just, she just wanted to kind do something fun. Festival and, or something? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Just another community yeah. event. And uh, the response has been overwhelming so far. I don't think she knew what she was getting herself <laughs> into, but that's a good problem to have. But it is coming up Saturday, October 20th from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m., which kind of like in the spring when we have Coosa Fest followed by the Grits Festival, uh, in the fall, now we're going to have the Oak Grove Fall Family Festival followed the next weekend by the Pumpkin Festival in Childersburg. And that's uh, always a good thing, fun things for people to do. And if you get busy and miss one for football or anything else, you got the other one to fall back on. And that's a good, uh, that's a good thing, fun things to do. And that's, uh, that's what community is all about. Speaking of football, Childersburg got off to a good start Friday night. Uh, outstanding defense. Uh, obviously, a little bit more work on the offense, but uh, that was a pretty good start. Solicog and several of the others got off to some pretty good starts, mm -hmm. too. I think we're going to have some good football around here from the high school level. No doubt about it. Tom Roberts, uh, the Greater Coos Valley Chamber of Commerce, our guest this morning. Well, it's football season, and, and, and we're going to get to that in just a couple moments about the travel in Childersburg. But what else is happening positively in Childersburg? Well, uh, one of the things, it's an annual event uh, brought on by the Kiwanis Club, uh, Childersburg's uh, premier community organization, and uh, they're almost constantly finding ways to serve especially the younger community, and they're doing so in a very adult manner. The fourth annual Sporting Clay Shooting Benefit, uh, the Kiwanis Club's children's mm -hmm. program, that's going to be at Selwood Farms coming up Friday, September 21st. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, if you or anyone you know that uh, would like to be a part of it, you can contact myself. We'll get you signed up. It's a pretty popular sport right there. Oh, it is. It's, uh, well, to say it's popular puts it mildly because in our area alone, we have Selwood Farms, Red Eagle uh, Skeet and Trap. We have Orvis. We have the Civilian Marksmanship Program. So uh, sports shooting is a big, big thing around here with four nationally renowned uh, venues mm -hmm. for such. And that's a, that's a big deal. It brings a lot of people to our area on a very regular basis and we have a lot of outdoor activities and that's just one of them. And I saw the sign, I was coming through Childersburg recently and saw the sign uh, where Jack's has broken ground and they're up and going now with the uh, construction. Well, uh, I checked yesterday and they're not quite ready to 
uh, make the announcement, but the arrangements are being made for an October 8th opening date, and they'll follow with a grand opening mm -hmm. ribbon cutting and all sorts of things like that. But uh, they uh, are on schedule, and they've gotten to the point in construction where they've completed the outside, which means that they can seriously get to work on the inside without having to stop for weather. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Uh, they got uh, had a few things that slowed them down getting started, but they're excited and very, very soon, any moment now, maybe even later today, we're going to be announcing where people who wish to be employed can come and put their application, get interviewed, and uh, get on board. Now, are these the same people who own the Jackson Silicon? Absolutely. Or nope. The same folks, and uh, I'm sure that there will be some, that's one of the nice things about being in the middle. Uh, in Childersburg, they can properly train their staff by putting them to work in either Harpersville yeah. or Sylacauga. And I'm looking forward to some fried chicken and biscuits because theirs is about as top door as well, you can It shows how strong Jack's is to have a store in Harpersville, Sylacauga, and soon to be in Childersburg. Absolutely. When you've got delicious food, nobody's going to argue. It gives more folks a chance to stop and experience uh, Childersburg. And those of us who live in the Childersburg area get to enjoy it without having to travel one direction mm -hmm. or the other. I'm, I'm excited about that. You know, a, a lot of folks say, well, we don't need another one of things like that. We need such and such. Well, trust me, the, the such and such are being dealt with, too. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a domino effect. You know? Absolutely. And uh, that domino effect is really, really evident downtown where... Uh, there's so much activity going on right now, getting buildings ready, and uh, we're going to see a steady stream of new businesses uh, opening up. And a couple of them are going to raise a few eyebrows and says, wow, mm -hmm. uh, I can promise you that. It's uh, it's an exciting time to be around the Childersburg area. Now, have you uh, gotten to visit, I'm sure you have, that pastry shop in downtown Childersburg? Oh, have, oh uh, goodness. heaven's go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, Chanda... Uh, She's uh, one of my, well, I love everything that she does, but it's a mortal enemy of my gut because mm -hmm. <laughs> I can guarantee you that uh, just thinking about that place can make me fat, but it's just uh, I've made arrangements with her on a couple of occasions to cater with some of her mm -hmm. baked goods and other things like that. It's absolutely heaven's gold. Absolutely. That's, they're, they're, she hey, came up uh, with a perfect name. Football this weekend, lots of extra traffic on Highway 280. Well, I was hoping that by the time college football season broke and we had that back and forth travel uh, along 280, that they would have completed the, the new portion of the bridge and actually physically moved the traffic from the existing four lanes to the new four lanes on the new part of the bridge. Uh, the newest part of the bridge, but didn't happen because that's going to make travel through Childersburg a whole lot easier. The whole process is going to make travel across 280 from one side of the road mm -hmm. to the other a wee bit more difficult, but that's just one of the handicaps of progress, and uh, uh, you and I uh, repeat ourselves over and over and over again because it's that important. Find yourself the route that you're going to need to take when you can't go across uh, from 76 and 1st Street to the Childersburg Fayetteville Highway because that day's coming and it's coming quickly. That traffic light, that intersection is going to be temporarily uh, removed and traffic will run through Childersburg on 280 a lot more smoothly. But as it's smoothly, it's going to be at a, at least slightly increased speed, which means that you're going to have to be extra careful if you're trying to join or get off the traffic from 280 or, worse yet, go across it. So make your plans now. Map out your, uh, your route and be careful because it's going to get uh, worse before it gets better. Can't I was say asked that recently enough. about how... You know, there's a number of industries in Childersburg. How will they be affected by these changes in, in the traffic flow? Well, they have been contacted. They There have been conversations. And uh, the biggest effect is going to be the fact that one industrial park in Childersburg is located on Highway 76, the other on Plant Road. And 
Forest Hills and a couple of other roads that connect mm -hmm. those two highways are going to be affected. There's going to be more traffic. So Big, bigger truck traffic as yeah, well. Yeah, just like it, just like everybody else, they're mm -hmm. going to have to learn to navigate. Yeah. And uh, again, you know, it's unfortunate that it has to get worse before it gets better. But knowing about it, planning for it, and just scheduling a little extra time for that navigation process and remaining safe is is a key uh if you know it's there and you you can learn to deal with it yeah. i hate it but you know that's part of now just imagine what it's going to be like when they're done and uh every day we move right. forward the closer we are to final completion and that's going to be a thing to behold you say there's always a beautiful rainbow after the storm absolutely so. now one of the things too that a lot of folks have missed out on this is not just about the the the, the highway traffic along 280 concerning the replacement of the bridge, the widening of the bridge. This is also uh, going to, at some point, take in Highway 280 from the River Bridge all the way to uh, the part of Highway 280 that goes over 21 and 231 in Sulacaga. They're going to be making a lot of changes in those crossovers. They're going to be creating acceleration lanes and deceleration lanes and getting rid of the crossovers that do not uh, lend themselves mm -hmm. to that part of the mm -hmm. process. And so Childersburg's not alone in that part of the process. It's going to extend all the way from Sol uh, through Sulacaga back through Oak Grove and on to the River Bridge. And that's going to be just about as disruptive as what's going on now. Yeah, I saw this morning where a couple of those uh, acceleration lanes and even, a, even a, a red light is going to be put there at Lower Bonaire Road once this stuff gets laid out pretty good. So some big changes and uh, just, just be careful because uh, your safety is at risk. So is the people that are driving around you. And, and Tom, one bumper uh, fender bender right now uh, with the traffic flow the way it is can back up traffic a long way. Oh, no, it, 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 and it has. And uh, that's especially so when you go uh, over the intersection toward the mm -hmm. bridge mm -hmm. because that next intersection of the other first street northwest instead of southwest is uh, uh, proven to be uh, a dangerous and difficult proposition as people try to get into and out of the Piggly Wiggly right. Shopping Center. Again, take your time, plan around it, go around it, don't try to turn in and out right there on 280 at that particular location. There are other ways. Scope them out, folks. Uh, uh, you don't have to put yourself in harm's way when there are alternatives available. And it's just temporary. That's the biggest yep. key. It's just temporary. Be careful. If you'd like to know more about the Greater Coosa Valley Chamber of Commerce and, and uh, what is going on with the chamber and how you can be a part of it, I'm sure you can share that with them this morning. Absolutely. Uh, all you have to do is uh, there's, there's two email addresses that work rather well. There's uh, the, the newer Greater Coosa Valley Chamber at gmail.com. Greater Coosa Valley Chamber at gmail.com. And also from uh, prior existence, Childersburg Chamber at gmail.com. Uh, we're on Facebook. We have our own website, the Greater Coosa Valley Chamber .com. So not too hard. Uh, we're uh, GPS uh, activated with a device on the front porch, so we're easy to find on Third Street uh, Southwest, right across from City Hall. It's not hard to find. In fact. Uh, I have been uh, working with a number of folks and a number of entities about uh, workforce development because we have a lot of good paying, long term career type jobs that are available in South Talladega County uh, in general, particularly in Childersburg and working to meet those needs today and 20, 25 years down the road is an essential part mm -hmm. of that program. And uh, some of these folks I've had to deal with from uh, 
uh, Montgomery and areas north, uh, they find it pretty easy to find us, and you can too. You know, uh, before we let you go this morning, uh, sometimes I become amused by seeing on Facebook uh, how we don't have jobs available, and there are plenty of jobs from from uh, fast food restaurants all the way up the ladder uh, for career jobs. Oh, there are absolutely career jobs. In fact. Uh, uh, I, I can't think of a particular industry in Childersburg right now that uh, isn't looking for qualified people and sometimes the qualifications for really, really good paying jobs is as simple as passing a drug test and having a work mm -hmm. history that mm -hmm. shows you're uh, capable of making it to work on a very regular basis. That's, just, that's pretty uh, That's pretty sad. That's, that's pretty, pretty sad. Fun. It's fundamental know. and uh, prepare yourself. Yeah. Prepare yeah. yourself. It's not that difficult. If you've got a job that's less than what you want, go to work on time, build a track record that you can use to move up the food chain because I can guarantee you there are people looking. When opportunities present themselves through uh, our wonderful community college to upgrade your skill levels, everything from uh, fundamentals like uh, CDL truck drivers to uh, um, forklift drivers to uh, all sorts of uh, technical medical and medical billing and nursing and all those other things. These things are available. Use them. Uh, upgrade yourself. Uh, they're eager to have you. And one thing I can guarantee you, if you're looking for a job, there's no better place to be hanging out than taking classes at CACC because very, very regularly, all of their especially tech-related programs, they have employers who are sitting there waiting for graduation day to try to mm -hmm. fight over the, mm -hmm. the graduates, and that's as, about as that's good. That's a good thing. Oh, absolutely. We absolutely, positively have more available good-paying jobs than we have people that are able to fill them. That's a, that's a problem. That's a nice, nice problem, but it's still a problem. Right. Get ready. Tom Roberts uh, from the Greater Coosa Valley Chamber, our guest this morning. Tom's with us every Wednesday morning about this time. Appreciate you coming this morning, oh, sir. Excited to be here. It's important. More daybreak right after this.